was fishing with Captain Jimmy Nelson, Captain Brett Norris, and Rob Chapman of Outdoors 360 in Tampa, Florida. We moved to another spot that was kind of by a road, and uh, me, Rob, and Louisa were standing on the front of the boat, and we were just kind of casting out there with the three of us on the front of the boat because the captain said just cast as far as you can towards the road, so we did that. It was, it was clear water, but we couldn't see what was happening there, and uh, all of a sudden I felt a tap, tap, tap on my line, and I'm hooked up with the fish, and then next thing I know, Louisa right behind me hooks up another one. And that double that we got when we first got there was actually the smallest two fish of the day. I think we found the spot. <laughs> Rob was yours! As soon as Captain Jimmy casts, he hooks up. And literally, like two seconds later, I hook up too. So that was pretty cool that me and him caught two snook. Actually, the, probably the smallest snook we've ever seen. But we hooked up and it was a lot of fun. Even the smaller fish are fun to catch because they do just like the bigger ones. They jump all over the place, they slash back and forth, and they kind of don't give up all the way in. We were fishing for snook and it did not take long for them to start biting. We did not have to go that far to catch them. I was very surprised with the amount of snook they're in the area right now. After we got those snook in the boat and showed them off, we got those guys released and we casted back out for another one. What I was using to catch the snook in that area was a white bait, a 3 aught mustard J-hook, and I was using my Spheros 5000 by Shimano. As soon as we released the snook double, it did not take long at all to catch another snook. I cast it the same area where I caught the last one, and two seconds later, I hooked up. It actually fooled her at first. She thought she had a bigger fish than she did, but it was just because it was a really tough fish and it was pulling some drag. And uh, we got it close to the boat and landed the fish. There he is. Good job. Nice He's got one. that mustad hook right in the corner of his mouth. Yep. Well done. You want to pop that out for me? Yeah. Cut it out. Show him here. Very nice one. They keep getting bigger, so that's really good. Oh yeah. You want to let them go? Yep, let's let them go. Okay. I was very surprised with the amount of snook there in the area. I absolutely love catching them, and we were catching one after another all day long. It was a great time with everybody, and I can't wait to do it again. About to release this guy, so you can catch him later. There you go. It took off like nothing happened. Let's catch another one. Oh, 
good? You good? Turn the heat off. Real good. <laughs> Right here. Right, he's going under. Get ready, he's gonna go nuts. Here he comes. Oh, oh he's gonna eat him. He's gonna eat him by the other shark. Oh my god, he ate him. Oh, I lost him. No, no. Oh my god, he ate the shark. Are you ready? I don't have it. I'm losing it. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, here you go. We are standing up. Look at the size of those sharks. Look at that boy. Oh my god. Real. Oh my god. You like that was it. That was it. That was it. The sharks eat the sharks, man. <laughs> Just trying to get my breath. I'm really scary. <laughs> That was really super intense. It was super intense. It was really super intense and um, really saw a lot of action and lost my footing. And it was just a really quick fight, but at the same time, really cool. I almost went over a couple times. And I saw another shark eat another shark. Great. We just had a huge shark hit our bet butt line and we had a chunk of Anita out and he just took a screaming run, took a whole bunch of line. Uh, so now I gotta fight him and try to get this line back and check out how big this shark is. Taking line still. Not stopping. Again, really strong shark. I hope this battle ends soon. Soon. Oh, he's straight down. Oh. All right, so I can't get this shark up. He surfaced once and he went down, back down deep, and he's kind of just right below the boat, just chilling, because he's a shark. And uh, so we're gonna put some more heat on him right now and tighten our drag so we can get him to the boat um, but we run the risk of breaking the line but that's what you gotta do with fishing take risks and see if you can get the monster shark to the boat
Drop it, let it go until you feel its paws at the bottom. First drop of the morning, light tackle spinning rods, dead bait, not bad. Peter might have something a little bigger. He takes it easy. We got color up there for Peter. This one's nice. We have to get some. Whoa! And we're good. Good release. <laughs> oh, get back! Get on it. Oh my! What's going on over there? Peter, she needs help. Use this to put your legs right up to and you can lean down and pull back. Use your back. First, first fish right in the jaw. Come on in, get a photo. Catch him. Lean over. Let it sit for a second. Pull, pull, pull. No, 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 no. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Real, there you real. go. Got one. Go, girl. We just came offshore a few miles. Put a couple dead baits down. Second drop, second fish. 
for all of us. Nice little day, catching some snapper on light tackle near shore. <clears throat> Look at her. She ain't letting this fish get the best of her. Oh, nice one. Yep. Bring that raw tip right over to me. Bring the tip. There you go. You want to talk about it? What would we just do here? What happened to you? Caught my second fish of the day. Yeah? Was it yeah. easy or what? Super hard to pull it up, but I got it. <laughs> How long did it, it take? Hard. Uh, about like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> about 10 minutes. How long did it take for, for it to eat the bait once it got down there? Uh, well, I rolled it down in about a minute or two. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Got straight up hammered. Girl's doing good. First time out. Thank you. Catching some good fish. <laughs> Let's go get another one.